Hi, my name is Braden Harrington, and I'm 13 years old. And without Joe Biden, I wouldn't be talking to you today. About a few months ago, I met him in New Hampshire. He told me that we were members of the same club. That club being one with people who stutter. This morning, the executive director of Lexington's Hearing and Speech Center woke up to see Braden's speech all over her Facebook feed. I had mixed emotions because I was beaming with pride and then absolutely bawling. <laughs> So it was really hard not to not to fight back a lot of tears this morning because it's so powerful to have, again, this young man be so vulnerable in front of the entire world. Ainsley says here in Kentucky, 10% of kids under the age of five have a speech language impairment that they know of. She also says 44% of all children in special education have some kind of speech language delay disorder disability. Politics aside, she is counting Braden's speech as a win because it's starting a conversation. It was really amazing to hear that someone like me became vice president. The fact that they're bringing awareness out, um, about fluency and about speech language disorders and how proud I am of that sweet boy to come out and share his journey and his story and and understanding that that everything is okay. And if you can't get an S out sometimes, that's okay. There's a lot of things those of us can't do. Can't do, but can overcome if given the right tools and encouragement. In Lexington, Claire Kopsky, LEX 18 News.